god, he's on the phone already. You're going to have to go SDM, you know. Is it too much? Is it too much? Is on you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's see what my wife hinted to you about. Yeah, because she knows just as well as I do how good your memory is. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that is exactly just what I want to know. A new dictaphone. <laughs> 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 right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of in my own interest, you know. <laughs> You can see the magic kiss that the, the, the <laughs> <German. laughs> <laughs> didn't see at the wedding. The uh, kind of mixed pleasure of going around lots of places and stay in the same hotel room as you. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a couple of your secrets. Is that a pleasure? I said mixed pleasure. Oh, mixed pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep pretty quiet and you... Quiet? Pretty. Well, I'm not back. Compared to me, he does. <laughs> uh, you don't smell too bad. <laughs> and we had, had a lot of laughs. And right before we started eating, I got someone handing me a present that uh, she wanted me to give to you after we finished eating. I know that most of your body parts are your own. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it is with your teeth, but uh, after a good meal, you might want to go and <coughs> shine up. This present is not from me. From me. Uh, I'll give you the other one, but um, this is for somebody else. We talk on the way. We don't have time to see you, so it's just that we're saying that you're a threat. I saw it hard enough yeah. and believe hard enough, you don't right. get forty. You know? So he's trying his best to stay <laughs> as young as possible. But it's not working. As I'm trying to tell him that whatever you want or not, you're turning forty. But I have to say honestly that you don't like you don't look forty. You know? That's you look like 39 and a half. No, no, no. Honestly, you look like you're 30. You do. And that's the reason why we are together, because I like your voice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the doctor said that your your heart is 17. Because of the operation and everything. And there is uh, different parts of you that actually think that it is 17. So I'm well happy. <laughs> so, what do you mean? Well, go, go. What, I'm, what I mean about that? Well, I leave that to your imagination. <laughs> anyway, she's got left to my imagination as well. <laughs> I, uh, you that? Well, I remember. You know you're funny now. <laughs> okay, you get one point. Okay. Anyway, this last year, your, your last year of the 30s has been a very, very, very good year, and it's been a very, very, very successful year, as I can see it. I know Neil is never, never happy, whatever happens, 
If he had 20 million kronos in the bank, it wouldn't be happy anyway. He still would work as hard as he's doing now. But this year that's gone now has been a very, very good year for you. I mean, we've done a lot of things together. Uh, you played in the best piano balls in Norway. You had a good week in, in Oslo in February. You had a great time in May, uh, the Air Festival, together with Peter Larsen and uh, Stephen Apple. I think you liked the jam session and the last deal the best on that one, where you could really go for it. We had a beautiful time on uh, the SS Norway, and as the reporter at the Sailor said to me, well, this is what he said to me, was that Neil was the most and best spoken about artists on the ship, which is very, very good, taking into consideration that Thor Sivarsson said the air, Thor Anderson and Rune Larsen was the artist on the ship. And beside that, we had a wonderful time getting married. And it was very, very nice. And I'm sorry that I kept the secret for you at home, that your mom was coming. And it nearly, nearly ruined the, part <coughs> in the, the wedding, because Neil was crying his eyes out when he saw his mom. But it was very warm, very touching, and the priest that did the ceremony did a great job. We just watched the video yesterday that the cameraman and the camera crew on the ship sent us the video of the whole wedding, and it was just beautiful. It was as beautiful and romantic that I remember it. It really was. And then going up, as I said, when we look back on this year, going out to Moirana, seeing the support band for Smokey, we was a band that in England is nothing, really, but in the rest of Europe is a great band. And being able to do that, be up on the stage before Smokey, getting, they picked us up at the airport in a big white limousine, they booked us into the hotel in the wedding suite, and it was absolutely fantastic. We had a great weekend up there, didn't we? And going in the morning, and it is the 23rd. The house looks beautiful. <laughs>
Komm nicht vor, vor 14, so kommen alle näher. Listen, 
There is a lot of people there. Paul is was supposed to come, but I guess he's stuck in the snow. And as far as I can see, there's a lot of people there that you know. We had a bit of problem because Neil has his own special names on people. Like, where do you start looking for uh, Inge de Gardner? Because that is one of the guys he said, Inge de Gardner. Yeah. Well, he's here. There he is. But you can't look in the, in, in, the, in the telephone book for Inge de Gardner. You can't look for the washing machine. Well, she's there. And another thing... <laughs> and another person was also, you know, the marriage couple from Brina. <laughs> nobody knows their real name, and nobody knows their telephone number. So where do you start looking? I don't know. Avon has been in a very, very good help for me here. And Jan Iver has been helping out, and there's a lot of friends helping out. And I had to admit that I have been looking in your diaries <laughs> to get all these names. <laughs> anyway, I think that we should all say happy birthday, cheers to a wonderful person, a loving person that's given us so much joy and so much happiness during his playing, and you deserve everything. And I mean that one. And there's another thing. I want, to, I want you to wrap this present here, because this is a very special one. This is actually the original uh, invitation that I sent out to all these people. Neil. Show us. Show us. Show us. And I have to thank Mariana, which is my brother's fiance. She has been drawing this. What's that? Mariana and Hover has been printing and making sure that everybody got their invitation. Yeah. yeah that's... Can you see that's Neil there? <laughs> there, over there. And that's me. Yeah. You know, the brilliant idea. <laughs> and I also have to thank Hova and Mariana for actually making this happening with the invitation. It's, you, you've done an uh, absolutely brilliant job. And also, I want to thank Christian for actually being here and being the, well, he didn't like that name actually, the Toastmaster. But anyway, that's what he is. So if anybody wants to, you know, make, not a speech, because that's boring. And I am boring now, I know that. Anyway, if you want to say anything, or if you have anything, if you want to do, play something, or whatever, uh, you talk to Christian or to Avon, and he will organize it for you. And then I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming here. T I know that Neil has a lot of friends, and I know that a lot of you are also my friends. So I say thank you very, very much. Thank you. Just say thank you. <laughs> well, yeah. I obviously didn't know anything about this whatsoever. And uh, I am I am completely it's very rare over the over the last 40 years that I've been speechless, but this time I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked is the Yorkshire word for, for absolutely, just don't know what to say. But I would like to thank you all for coming. And, you know, uh, <coughs> you 
You know, we got married in August this year, and uh, it was probably the best thing I ever did in my life. I'm the happiest man in the world, and I'm a very, very lucky man to do what I do for a living, and to do, and to be married to this beautiful woman. I think she means everything in the world to me. I, I used to think that the music was everything, but it's actually not. It's not even a quarter of anything. Unless you're happy with your own life and, and, and your friends and the people around you, that's what actually means something. And uh, it's taken me 40 years to learn that. I learned it in the last six months. I hope you all bear it in mind because it's, uh, it's, it's a very important thing. Uh, thank you for being here. And I just love you all, and you know that. Mr. Larson, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to kick some, we're going to kick that piano around tonight. Yeah. Sean's around, we're going to kick some piano with Sean. Giles is around, I believe. I think Giles is around, we're going to kick some piano, Giles. And uh, Paul, hopefully, Jan, Jan Hauger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to kick some uh, piano tonight, so uh, let's have a good time, let's lighten up and have a good time, yeah! yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you.
This is for you, so I want your attention at least. I hope the rest of you also will listen. I will make this one very short, but I will give Ivan a chance to do his job so he can make some sound in this thing. And I just wanted to say to Neil today, because I've been a big fan of Neil ever since he came here to Stavanger and, and uh, bought his house on Tananga and started to live here. Not only because he's one of the best piano players in the house, and that says a lot because there is a, a lot of great piano players here tonight, but I've mainly been a big fan of Neil because he's a great person. He's, he's, he's a great friend to have. And uh, I only want to thank him because I've been so lucky to know him for all these years since he's been here. Thank you very much. Ian.
Smoking away down there. <laughs> and then maybe we're going to play a few uh, four hand songs. We may even play some eight hand songs. We may play some uh, 115 finger songs. Or something like that.